Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? This your boy, JB, Trap House Boxing. Back again with another video. Shouts out to the whole LDBC. Y'all smash that like, subscribe button, and share the video always, and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. Hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's been dropped from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Milecast and hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's been dropped every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, I'm just doing a little catching up on some of the fights that took place, where was that, uh, the day before yesterday on The Zone with the uh, Hack Philip Hapkovich versus uh, Gregory Bad News Corbin. And this is the post-fight reaction. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody already know was the first now first round knockout, and uh, I just want to talk about a little bit of things that happened in the fight, and a little bit of things that's you know possibly for the future, and you know the whole nine. But um, first of all, man, salute to uh, Philip Philip Hagovich. Uh, uh, I've been talking about Hagovich for a little bit. Uh, a little bit of some time now, you know, uh, way back when he had on like three or four fights, you know, I was talking about this heavyweight then, but, uh, now we're here and to be honest with you, man, uh, first of all, I want to start by saying, man, what the hell was this about, uh, Greg Corbin, man? I mean, what the hell happened? I mean, I didn't expect Corbin to get knocked out in the first round, man. I mean, I at least expected it at least to go to five or six, you know, at least five or six. But uh, make a long story short, you know, um, Hagovich comes out his normal upright European style. Corbin, you know, Corbin got like a little unorthodox style to him, you know, for those who don't know who Corbin is, who haven't watched him fight. But anyway, you know, uh, I, I didn't think that Corbin had intentions on, because uh, he was going to have to walk through some fire in this fight and able to be successful against Hagovich anyway. Hagovich is just too much of a well school fighter for you just to, uh, you know, get awkward and land up top some little wild bomb and, and, and put him to sleep. Th that ain't going to be that easy. You understand what I'm saying? So I just thought that uh, Corbin's whole approach was wrong. Maybe, you know, he was doing something that I didn't know about. But, uh, you know, you could tell off rip he was reluctant to uh, – you know, to get hit. Not saying that, you know, he needed to get hit, but you could just tell, you know, that uh, he, he wasn't even in range, nowhere in the fight, and he was throwing punches like hooks, swinging hooks and all that way out of range. And Philip Hackovich, you know, well school, you know, fighter, just simply, you know, he and it was, it was Olympian. Yeah, I believe he's Olympian. Yeah, I think, I don't know if it was a silver or whatever he was, but Olympian. But anyway, make a long story short, uh, just taking simple steps back, small little steps back, and uh, came over the top and countered uh, Greg Corman with a, with a short, straight, over-the-top chopping right hand, you know, and just laid Corbin out. And uh, Corbin got up. He was wobbled and all that, and he was playing to the ref saying in the back of the head. But uh, it looked like he caught him you know, at a, at, a, at a nice little angle. You know, I have to watch the the the, uh, the punch at a closer angle again. But uh, it looked like it was pretty legit to me. I'm just surprised how fast Corbin got knocked out in that simple fashion like that. You know, it, it's like he didn't even give Hackovich nothing to even think about. Not even, uh, he didn't even have to work hard at all to, uh, to do this to Corbin. As you can see, Corbin uh, throwing hooks all the way out of range. You see what I'm saying? Simple step back. He was lining them up. This fight didn't even probably even last, what, maybe a minute, minute and a half, if that. And it was over with. You know, so I was kind of disappointed, even though I'm not a big, I'm not a real big fan of Corbin's style. I've already been on record saying that. I didn't like the, the Charles Martin fight, you know, the last fight, you know, the real ugly fight. Got disqualification, but uh, Corbin Corbin can make a fight look ugly, but just unfortunately, you know, this style here was was not the, the style for Corbin to make it a, a ugly fight. 
and uh, implement his game plan or whatever the case may be. But my whole thing is this: I didn't know, I didn't understand why Corbin even took this fight. If I was Corbin, I wouldn't have took this fight. I understand he's 38, 39 years old, and he got to get the best opportunities out there. But you know, uh, the Charles Martin fight to the Charles Martin fight. I wouldn't have got in the ring with a Phil, uh, Philip Hakovich. That I mean, that that just wasn't a good logical move to me, in my opinion. I would have gave Corbin a couple of more build-up fights and uh, then stuck him in the ring with somebody else. You know, somebody that's more tailored to his style. You know, maybe he can, you know, that he can look good against or, or get a good punch in and knock him out. You understand what I'm saying? But, hey, whatever, man, but... As far as Her Herkovich, you know, I want to see Herkovich. Uh, but he is stepping up a competition. You know, he fought uh, a man saw last last time, stopped him, made a man saw quit. Uh, just did what he did to uh, Corbin. So uh, we're gonna see what's next for Her Herkovich. But I'm just, uh, I'm pretty disappointed in and and you know how these guys is, how, you know how these guys is getting out of there. You know. When they run up against him, you know, I, I understand he's a good fighter and all that, but I want to see him a little bit more battle-tested. Uh, I think it, it's time. I, I would like to see him in there, but I, that ain't going to happen. I know they're not going to put him there with a jack because that would be too risky Risky for uh, PBC. Uh, that's a dangerous matchup for a uh, jack. Uh, let me try to – I'm trying to see what could be next for uh, Hagrid. I had somebody else in mind. I couldn't think of uh, who else would be a good fight for him. Matter of fact, Charles Martin would be a good next fight for uh, Hagovich. That would be a good fight for Hagovich. I, I would love to see that fight. Charles Martin, uh, Philip uh, Hagovich would be a good fight. I think that uh, that should be next. Or even a uh, Konalki. Or a, uh, who else was that? Konalki or... It's it's quite a few up and coming heavyweights, man. That'd be a good good uh matchup for uh Hagovich. But I doubt that Kunaki will take that fight too. Um Hagovich is more of a, on 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 the uh you know a little a little under uh Kanaki as far as prestige and you know, uh direction and, and career right now. I don't think he's trying to reach back to fight a uh Hagovich. Cause he'll lose that fight most likely, but I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I wouldn't mind seeing Charles Martin versus Hagovich next. Y'all, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting to subscribe to the channel? Like, share the video. Always, I'll holler at y'all. Peace to the next video.